Hi everyone, this is Jamie. Um, can we please cancel James Charles as said in the title of the video? So I will go a bit more in detail on why we should and uh, why hasn't this happened is a bit revolting to me if you ask me. Um, well, as far as you may have known, or well, it's kind of hard not to know who James Charles is at this point. So basically, I'll cut right to the thing. Um, because I'm not monetized, thanks YouTube. I'm probably too spicy or, well, I don't have enough watch hours, so that's probably it. And followers, but that's not the point. The point is I can openly call him a pedophile without getting monetized, so yay. So now you don't have to say that you have not heard it from someone. I'm not saying this is allegedly but I am saying that he did admit to sending nudes to a 14-year-old boy. ta -da. And uh, this is not the only reason why we should f cancel him. I think from the get-go we should have done that ages ago, back when he was talking about the Kinsey scale. Or even back when he talked about the uh, scared of going to Africa because he's going to get Ebola. And he, he was still in contract, I believe, with CoverGirl for being the first sort of male influencer. So the Ebola scandal came and went. The Kinsey scale was really rarely talked about because, I mean, who cares about trans guys? Who are they? Am I right? Um, so that came and went. Um, I mean, as much as I love Gottmik, I don't understand why Gottmik is friends with James Charles, but... You know, I, I can't do anything at this point. Everyone has done a collab with James Charles. Everyone's kind of just like closing their eyes, uh, despite the fact that he's very, very harmful to uh, not only trans society, since people pretend that trans, gu trans guys don't matter. Um, you know, we've collectively apparently decided it, and I was out on that day from the gay agenda, or maybe, as usual, trans guys were not consulted on this matter, so... ta -da. So what I wanted to say was, um, so the Kinsey scale scandal was really pretty bad, where he said, I, I'm not entirely gay because I've been attracted to men, therefore, that does not make me fully gay. And it's like, well, being attracted to men, solely attracted to men, does make you gay. Regardless whether the guys are cis or trans, and in general, he handled it very badly. He did apologize, but... I mean, one thing is to apologize, one thing is to act on it, and... He did prove that he was a shitty person, so... I don't know why, why we still are even here. I'm just doing this video because I'm really tired. And I re literally just want him gone at this point. So we've cancelled Shane for past mistakes, and we're not cancelling James for being an actual pedophile. When he has admitted to doing these mistakes. Mistakes. Yeah, of course. So I want to go further. So then uh, what happens is there was this whole scandal about Tinder, where he would pose as a straight cis woman, from what I understand. And he would bait uh, straight guys to message him. And uh, in general, he has this whole sort of shtick about dating straight guys. Now, this is where you can say, yeah, but Jamie, I see you wearing, like, Jeffree Star's palette. I am fully aware of what Jeffree has done in the past. And uh, as far as I'm aware of, Jeffree IDs is non-binary. So this is where it gets a bit tricky, don't you think? Because when your idea is non-binary, there is, well, yeah, sure, you have pansexuality, but there is not a very specific gender-oriented um, sexuality when it comes to being attracted to non-binary people. Therefore, if someone who IDs as straight is dating a non-binary person, or um, someone who's gay, ID is not a binary person. And in general, there are exceptions to that rule. So, with Jeffrey, we have to sort of like put that in a box, put it away, 
Yeah, please, put it away. There are other things to focus on Jeffrey with. Seriously. Uh, because as far as I'm aware of, um, yeah, there, there are a lot of sketchy things about Jeffrey. I know, I know, I'm very aware. But he has at least owns up to them, like James, who just hops over. And right now we're talking about actual proper legal matters, right? So he did admit it. And not only that, he's been partying around with COVID. I have no idea how many people he has exposed to danger. Like, he even did a video with a pregnant woman uh, saying how hard it is to be a pregnant woman. So, therefore, he went again to raise trans men as if we don't exist. And, by the way, pregnant men do exist. They happen to be trans. Sometimes they don't want to idea as trans. But regardless, pregnant men do exist. So please, let's stop this rhetoric of pregnant men don't exist, only women can get pregnant. That's not the case. We're not idiots. You're the one who are proving to be an idiot when you say such stupid things. Facts. Facts don't care about your stupid logic or whatever. Whatever Ben, Sh ben Shapiro says. Well, whatever, he's an idiot as well. So shout out to idiots. I'm having a really manic day, as you can see, so I'm sorry if I just... Myself. Regardless, so he has been exposing people to uh, COVID, he has not been wearing masks, he has been doing a lot of events, he has been doing collabs, he's been associated with all the people who have been uh, in all the drama regarding the parties, regarding not following regulations, he's been flying in and out of um, different states he's been doing whatever the fuck he pleases and no one no one is holding him accountable i'm tired now this is where i think is the reason why people are okay with him because he appeals to a female audience now you would say jamie but why does he appeal to a female audience because he fucking desires to do that he calls his audience sisters he has his whole shtick about going for straight guys. Not only he goes for underage guys, but he goes for straight guys as well. So I don't know how else am I supposed to say that being a pedo is bad, you know? Like, being a pedo is bad. I don't know how else am I supposed to talk about the subject. He did admit to sending those news to that guy who was underage and who, from what I can tell, looked that way. And then he did apologize for those actions. And he has been apologizing for these actions. And people still don't care. People, please start caring. Like, please, stop supporting his merch. Stop watching his dumb shit TikToks. Just stop. That guy needs to be cancelled. You cancelled Shane. You've been trying to cancel Jeffrey. You've cancelled, I don't know, Trisha Paytas. Then she came back as... The Lord and Jesus of uh, dissing people. There, listen to Trisha for fuck's sake. In this case, I can't believe I'm saying this. Even Trisha has more reasoning than James. So yeah, I don't know how else to to talk about this matter. Uh, this is a subject I've chosen for this week. I really want people to fucking listen and to fucking stop uh, idolizing James. He is not creative. He photoshops his self to the shits. And if you want to photoshop, that's great. He can be a photoshop artist, but he claims to not be that. Also, he's an internet celebrity, which is at this point famous for doing nothing other than TikToks. I mean, come on, we as a human race have something more to do than TikToks, right? And uh, not only that, we are in a pandemic, so we need all the help we need. We need people to raise awareness. We need people to donate to charities. What the fucker does, he just keeps on being a pedo. That's it. So, down with James Charles. Um, I'm tired of him. I really want him gone at this point because I've never had a good taste in my mouth about him. I want everyone to just cancel the collabs with him. I want him to stop being a cocky ass bitch. I want him to stop deceiving guys. I want him to stop deceiving straight, underage. I just want him out. Like, that fucker deserves to be in proper fucking jail, dude. So yeah, that's that's it about me.
I'm not monetized, so I can't technically lose any revenue, so I don't give a shit. He's a pedo, he deserves to be in jail, and uh, he deserves to finally get what he deserves. He needs to get fined for all those corona, uh, covid parties he does, and he deserves to just be gone. So, I'm gonna finish this with, he is a fucking pedo, and if you're defending him, you're defending pedos. Yay. Not EA, actually, well. Anyway, stop defending pedos, that's my point. And the main pedo right now is James Charles, thank you.